Afternoon Viva MK, fantastic to speak to you again and give you a quick business update and my usual brand of MK waffle. Um, as you saw from my note there, um, there is no greater disability in society than the inability to see someone as more. You know, one thing we should constantly do is to encourage people and support them and just accept that most people are far more than they imagine and than we, we can imagine. And that just helps build people. And the reason I mentioned that, I was at a fantastic uh, business opportunity meeting last night. Thank you, um, Tony and Jules and Dave and Julian for all the rest of you that were there that put that meeting together, building the essence of what our business is about fantastic meeting in Northampton. Next one is 3rd of July. I'm sure they'll post details of it here. But if you can ever get to a meeting of people, see them face to face, the value of that can never ever be denied. I loved being there. You know, my heritage in network marketing is all about being in front of people. You know, when I joined Clean Easy all those years ago, all I ever used to do was attend meetings day after day after day after day. And so some, some weeks, you know, three or four in a single day where I'd have one-to-ones and group meetings and BOMs. And the value that I picked up from just being in front of people, you know, made lessons for life. And one thing I always used to think is see every single person in that room more than they are. Now, this business, I'd like to think, epitomizes that. I'd like to think the leadership epitomizes that. And as an ethos, in this business, I would like to project the fact that we want everybody to be more, or at least to be where they want to be. And if we can support that through this business, then that's fantastic. That has got to be the greatest potential goal that we can ever have, is to help people see themselves as more and help and encourage people to be more. Last night's meeting was all about that. And it's so brilliant just to be in front of people. You know, like you all know, the ones that know me, you know, I'm not one, per I'm not a person to sit behind desks and so on. I like being in front of people. And that is network marketing. Fantastic meeting. Thanks everybody for putting that on. And talking of meetings, there is also a training webinar. I know we can't always be face to face because there's so many of us, but the training webinar that Lynn's putting on and she'll post details of that here. And on that first one, it will be some fantastic retailers in our business that will show you what they do. You know, it may not be exactly what you do, but it's what they do. Now, if I want to make a success of something, I have to look at the people making a success of it to get some hints and tips. So Ali and Jeff will be on that webinar. Lynn's hosting, I do believe it's next week. Excuse me for <laughs> mixing my dates up as per usual. You know, the funny thing is I wrote some notes over there, but they're too far for me to see now. Um, yeah, you see, there are days when I know I can conquer the world. Then there's days like these. I woke up this morning thinking I can see again. My sight has been restored, but of course I fell asleep sleep with my lenses in last night. And that is a true story. So there's days like that, that I, I get everything wrong, but there's days when I feel I can conquer the world. So today I've got notes over there that I can't even see from here. Anyway, it's next week. Great webinar. The point is seeing people as more. And as a society, we tend not to do that. But in this business, I want to always try and do that. Whether you're leadership, whether you're new in the business, whether whatever angle you're involved in, we must see people as more. And that stands us out from so many other businesses. You know, I've made a point of not being derogatory to any other business, <laughs> irrespective of what they say, not publicly anyway. Um, but my point is, our connection, our ethos, and our connectivity and collaboration with each other is far better than I have seen anywhere else. I don't have to put down any other business. What I'm saying is that our business, we seem to have hit that nail perfectly on the head. You know, I see every single person in this business more as a contributor, and so do you. Um, and so that's a brilliant place to be. So onto the outdoor catalog. So yes, as per usual, I told you all about that last week, it finally came in, and it finally went out. We shifted 100,000 copies of that um, out to you. So that means there's 100,000 
outdoor catalogs out there. That's the first batch completely wiped out. The second batch is on its way. Um, this is really down to the printers not getting it quick enough. Well, I'll take the blame because we didn't get it to them quick enough in the first place. We lost our printing slot. So the next batch is on its way. Now, if you, there's one or two of you, few of you that have placed orders, if you don't receive them, they will follow on as soon as we get them. Of course, at, at our expense, naturally. Um, but you, it will mean your order isn't delayed because even one or two of the orders were delayed. We had such an influx of orders over Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, I, I don't like to say that we couldn't cope with it, but it's a fantastic challenge to have when you get that many orders over a bank holiday weekend. It could have been something to do with the free catalog incentive, or it could have just been that people were very active this weekend. So it was a brilliant weekend for business. Um, it just means there's, there's a little bit of a backlog. We didn't get everything out on time. So just bear with us, it's all happening. There's been other delivery challenges um, um, over in Northern Ireland where we've had a couple of challenges one of the companies have decided they don't no longer want to support Northern Ireland but that's a different subject we'll deal with that and we'll find another curry I think we're already on to it if it's not already sorted so the outdoor catalogs are out there now and they're already out as in out we haven't got any um, but they're on their way back in so there will could be a delay for some of you and you'll notice that because when you get your parcel, they won't be in there. But And that will be the first suggestion that you, maybe you're not getting them, but you will do as soon as we get them back in. I apologize for that. I, I, I mean, we normally get them in batches of 100,000, in increments of 100,000. That is the first time such a mass quantity got wiped out so quickly. We didn't even have that upsurge immediately in the first two days with our Christmas catalog last year. So it's the biggest surge of catalogs going out in one go. So um, just bear with us on that. It is a quality challenge. And like I've always said to you, you know, victories and defeats and gratitude. Yes, it's a victory that finally got it out. Yes, it was a defeat that it went out so quick, although that's a victory wrapped up really. But gratitude, because out there, there's a hundred, a hundred thousand households that at some point between today, tomorrow and the weekend will get that brand new catalogue and the rest will follow on. Um, so I said to you last week that I would give you a summary or try to give you a summary of what has kind of happened so far. You know, we've got had uh, nearly 11 months of sales now. Um, and bear in mind that last August, I said to you, by August 2019, we'll have over a thousand products available. Well, of course, as you know, we've already exceeded that mark. It's well over a thousand products. Like I've always said, the number of products can't keep increasing indefinitely at some point you have to hone that in to be able to manage such large quantities of products coming in and going back out again and it's such a big process to constantly do that but we're over a thousand products now um, like I said last night in the meeting and like I've told you before one of the goals is to get more into that niche market get products that people can't just get everywhere and we've done that with the outdoor catalog there's some products in there quite a number of them that people will struggle to find elsewhere in the same way the Scottish soaps great product but people found it difficult to just walk into boots and buy it, it, it it's, its availability is limited as with some of the niche products you'll see in the outdoor catalog when you do actually finally get your hands on it outside the hundred thousand that have already gone out so 11 months of sales, you know, we, we, we've surpassed the three million pound mark, which, you know, some people may look at that and think, oh, well, that's nothing. Other people will think that's phenomenal. Don't forget, we're a brand new business and such a big influx of people, such a big influx of sales can also have its operational challenges like you've seen in the last 11 months. You know, you've been on with us in this journey. It hasn't been easy. It's never gonna be easy, but are we ever going to step back and not do it or not fight it or not greet it with open arms to take on any challenge? Of course not, because that's what business is about. Business isn't just about setting it and then sitting back and watching the results. 
No, it's a constant, every single day step on the pedal. And when things are going good, as you know, and as I learned in Clean Easy, you have to work even harder. When things are good, you have to work harder. It's mostly relentless business. And most of you who are in business or doing business with us, you know that the effort is relentless. So 11 months of sales, over a thousand pound, a thousand products already available. Christmas, of course, on the way and anything that will happen in between. Um, so like I've said to you before, we've got over 6,000 people registered with up to 20% activity any given time. Bizarrely, that hits a network marketing ratio. You know, in Clean Easy, it was very much the same. At Close of Business, at Clean Easy, we had about 14,000 distributors and 19% activity. So in network marketing, that's very common. If we had 100% activity, it'd be a very different story. We certainly wouldn't be able to cope with that. It'd be another quality challenge, but we're hitting the numbers where I guess we thought they would be. But from there, it can only grow because with such rapid growth also comes, like I said to you, operational challenges like 100,000 catalogs flying out literally overnight. One of the reasons some of the orders were delayed by a day or two is because we were emphasizing getting the catalogs out following bank holiday and with such a large surge of those and such a lot of orders it just meant we could only handle so much because when we get deliveries out they have to be ready and packed for the the dpd lorries to arrive to go because they don't wait you know if you haven't got it done they, they will just go so you know it's a case of we are getting there and some of the things that happen with a rapidly growing business is that you will have uh, operational challenges like you're witnessing with us. Now, um, during the month of June, because we're already at the end of May now, it's the last day of May tomorrow, during the month, month of June, I will give you, the, like I've always said, a six-month program that will take us to the end of the year. And what a six-month program will do is show you how I intend to get to the lofty goal that I set for this business. And that lofty goal was to give you a business by the end of 2019 that can fulfill the majority of your income needs so that you can put the, your effort into this business. And this wasn't the fact that I'm I don't want people to do anything else you know this is a free entrepreneurial spirited business you know I, I encourage people to do anything they need to do um, to 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 get the income they want but I want to give you a business that way where you can put the the most of your effort in to to get the most back out because we all know and I don't want to start the whole dialogue about horses again but um, you know it's not easy to ride two horses and no doubt in a minute there'll be a meme of me riding two horses but nevertheless you know what I mean. If you can ride one horse and ride it well, then it, it's far more worthwhile. But I have to give you a horse that is worthy of riding. And that's a hell of a horsey analogy there. But you know where I'm coming from. So six month plan for 2019 and uh, for the last six months of the year, which of course begin in July. That'll be the last six months of 2019 to achieve my goal. Um, I'll give you details of a leaders meeting. I had a meeting with Sharon and Craig Davis and they reminded me of when we used to have gold rush meetings where we used to get people together who, who were not only leadership, but people who were working towards leadership in order to create more connectivity. I'll give you details of that as well. I think those used to work very, very well in our previous businesses where you were just generally getting people together and talking about the business, giving them training and, and really just, just um, bonding the system and people together. And I think in network marketing, it's so much about bonding. And, you know, I, I do consultation for a couple of companies and the one thing I constantly tell people is don't just rely on emails, telephone calls and webinars. All these things are very, very good, but true bonding in our business is about face-to-face -face connectivity. It really is. I know that's not always possible where some of these companies have worldwide businesses, but where you can, you should, because you should never underestimate bonding with people. Um, and in network marketing, in the traditional ethos of network marketing, it always was and always will be that connectivity of people. That's what made Clean Easy such a powerful brand, um, not only among its, among its marketplace, but generally in the world. The fact that we were still bonding and connecting with people in the way we did.
So details of a leaders meeting coming up. Now, dare I say it, the recruitment link and the back office. I think I even tire myself of talking about that. You know, if you've, you know, obviously there's been a delay and there's been a, a hefty delay with these. Um, you know, I chose the company, so I'll shoulder the blame for that. The point is, yes, it's getting there. I can't give any more deadlines because every time I give a deadline, not only do you laugh out loudly at me knowing that it's not going to be achieved, um, but then I feel foolish because I get let down. So I'll keep that to myself, but just be rest assured it's working. And I know how vital that is to, to operate our business. Um, I don't. It doesn't stop people having sales of course it doesn't stop people putting out catalogs or doing whichever form of sales we're doing but what it does stop is some of the ease of running running a on a business from behind and for the figures that we have to do you know we have to do manual configuration of everything like i've said to you before with a calculator and a pen that is proper old school so for everybody concerned there is a challenge uh, until that is done but um i'm very very hopeful for june as i said there ago i've given you another date but my point is it, it, we're working on it non-stop so like I said, there are days when I feel I can conquer the world and there's days when I get up and I think my sight is restored and I fell asleep last night with my lenses in. And that's how days go here with me and I, I suppose with everybody. And then earlier I send out a text saying that the live is at midday tomorrow. So I was inundated with messages saying, is it today or is it tomorrow? So there are days like that. And you know what? It's acceptable because, you know, I guess, we all make mistakes and we all have challenging days like that but one way or another there will be victories today there will be defeats but that gratitude for what we have will never go away and being at that meeting last night it it just it, it, it just brings it all back in again when you see a room of people that are in this business that wasn't even alive 11 months ago and in front of me at this meeting on the table is outdoor catalogs and I picked up one of the outdoor catalogs and said if anybody had said to me a year ago that this catalog would be sat here in front of me when we, I knew the state we were in one year ago I would have laughed them out of the room and here we are in a meeting with this brand new catalog that of course everybody hasn't even got yet because we wiped the shelves clear of a hundred thousand of them um, it was an amazing situation to be in. So, you know, I, I never forget what we have collaborate, collaborated and created together. And I, I know every week I come on and I try and talk about something new and talk about this, the, the state of the business. The state of the business changes all of the time. Like I said to you, with the, the rapid growth, with trying to manage 6,000 people, with a thousand products, like I promised, every piece of that has its operational challenges. And our team is considerably small. You know, we, we get stuck in at every single level of the business. It's not like all I do is swan around doing uh, Facebook Lives and driving around in my car. You know, I, I get stuck in as much as anybody else does. So, yes, we're getting there. And yes, we will continue to get there. I always appreciate this connection that we have on Facebook Live because I can't get in front of you all of the time. But being at a meeting like the one yesterday, perfectly put on meeting, wonderful training, great testimonials, but just the, the ethos and environment and the vibe of being together just says to me that whatever we've done in these 11 months and soon to be a year every second of it whether operationally disastrous or operationally victorious has been absolutely 100 percent worth it so for those of you waiting for your outdoor catalogs they will follow on um there's many many of you have already got them um that was the quickest exit of catalogs that i've ever known in this small business and long may it continue so thank you again for listening uh, and thank you for just 
being on side. You know, I, I must never ever forget that we're kind of all on the same side, really. We built this together, we go through the struggles together, we go through the victories together. But one thing is, and it's unlike any other business I know out there, we seem to do it together. So I appreciate that. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll catch you next week. Bye bye.